I'm standing here with uh, Gunnar, responsible for the Jackson Kayak Fishing Open. What do you think about the uh, event so far? Well, I'm so happy because everybody else is happy. We have been uh, fishing a lot. We have been, uh, as I wanted it to be, we have been communicating. We have been sitting together, drinking beer, and just have really, really fun. So it's more of a festival than a kayak fishing uh, tournament. So I like it. Thank you. To fish in the Swedish archipelago is not like fishing at home. The fish is standing in really, really shallow water and you got weed every second cast. But when you find them, the strike is instant. I'm participating in Jackson Kayak Fishing Open in Sweden to compete and meet new and old friends. I'm standing here with Philip and Christian from Stinger Productions. Uh, how has the event been for you? It's been a great experience. A lot of people, new yeah. people. Yeah, about 40 kayak anglers from uh, about 20 from Sweden and 20 from uh, uh, Czech Republic, and Germany, and some from Finland, I think. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what, what have you been doing uh, here at GFKO? Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> we have been uh, documenting this uh, by film, so we are releasing a movie about this uh, event. And we have interviewed some people, trying to film them uh, while they catch fish, and so on. Okay. W where can we see this film? Uh, on our YouTube site and uh, on um, Gunas. Uh, where who's the owner of this fishing camp, so... Um, Fike Strike Sweden, yeah. uh, it will be shared on Facebook and YouTube. Okay, w when will it be released? Uh, three weeks? Three weeks, maybe? Yeah. Three weeks? We are in... Uh, Second November. Second November now, <laughs> so in the end of so, November. Yeah. yeah. Okay, thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. The fishing is slow, but so what? If it's too easy, it's not really fun, is it? I'm standing here with Kai from the Jackson Germany team. Yep. What do you think about this event? It's awful. It's not been fun at all. No, just kidding. <laughs> It's been super fun, great fishing. Unfortunately, we didn't catch uh, any big fish. We caught plenty of like up to 76, 78, but not above the magic mark. So, but each of us caught like 10 or 12 a day. And that's fantastic fishing for us in Germany that exists maybe at Rügen, but that's about it. So nowhere else, it's, uh, it's a magical moment for us here. It's cool. Okay. Will we see you here next year? Yes, for sure. Okay. Not even for the competition, maybe even for vacation. Okay, you're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Take care, have a good time. Pike Strike Sweden, where this event is held, is a really, really nice place in the southeast of Sweden. The first day of the competition, I team up with the Finnish guys and we start our search for the big pike. But the first one today! I'm here with uh, 
Anton Svetkov uh, responsible for security at uh, Jackson uh, Kayak Fishing Open. Has there been any incidents? Well, uh, we, have, we had one little incident where a guy fell out the kayak and uh, his inflatable jacket exploded on him more or less, so he couldn't get air, so he had to take it off. Uh, and, uh, well, otherwise, nah. He, oh. he was a little scared because he couldn't get back into the kayak, but... Uh, as I am the Mishpikana of Sweden, I was there in a jiffy. Had him up on the land, dry, in a new kayak, and now back again. <laughs> no, everything has been very, very good. Uh, the safety aspect of it is just that if everything should, if anything should happen, uh, we should be able to be there on the spot within minutes, so that we don't get any gas, get hypothermia or another. Well, serious happening, so to speak. So, we've been lucky so far. Thank you, Anton. We are safe with you. Hell yeah, you are. The first day I catch five pikes, the two biggest ones are only 70 cm, but I need to get 80 cm to enter the contest. I'm standing here with Eric from the German Jackson team. What do you think about the Jackson Kayak Fishing Open? Uh, first of all, I have to say that it's an awesome uh, event because uh, there are so many awesome, fantastic people, and uh, yeah, it was quite hard I think we had a, a lot of pikes but they were all around 60 to 70 centimeter and uh, for the event we need 80 plus and uh, that was tough I lost three big 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 pikes and uh, yeah you always had a lot of uh, little ones and then you had a lot of followers that were might bigger than the the one you catch so yeah, it was tough, but it was an awesome event, and uh, I will, love the people. Will we see you here next year? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> okay, you're welcome. Definitely. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Okay, thank you. Yeah. On the second day, the wind picks up, but this is no problem for the Jackson big rig. I'm sitting here with Johan and Mikko from Finland. What do you think about the Jackson kayak fishing? I have to say, this is one of my dream places. I have dreamed very long to go get to Breking because I think it's one of the Europe's best pike water, even if it was pretty slow fishing both yesterday and today. But we learned something and we get back and all the event was nice, it was nice to meet different kind of people, with same-minded people, see different kayaks, different solutions in and culturally and things like that. And very good food, thanks to Gunnar's wife and, and all who has been with this to make this happen. Did you get any fish, Miko? 
today I catch five bikes. Okay. They are too small. Too small. Okay. But I see one very very big bike. Okay. And you fish only with fly. Yes. yes. Okay. I'm only fly with them. And yeah. of course I love my Jackson Big Rig. Okay. It's yeah. very very nice boat. One of the most fun things with an event like this is the evenings when you can sit and talk with friends who have the same interest as me. I'm sitting here with Wilmer who is the youngest participant in Jackson Kayak Fishing Open. He's only 13. What do you think about this competition? Det har varit väldigt bra och eh, roligt att få låna kajak och ut och fiska skärgården, skärgården efter Gädda. Och hela anordningen har varit väldigt roligt här på kvällarna och så. During the weekend I was interviewed by the guys from Stinger Production. I'm here with uh, Anton Svensson who is responsible for the competition part of Jackson Kayak Fishing Open. Yep. How has the fishing been? It has been pretty difficult for most of the fishermen. Uh, because uh, we have had uh, tough conditions in the outer archipelago with uh, hard wind but uh, that's the place where they have find the bigger fishes but uh, they have been struggling all weekend to get the big ones what sizes are we talking about we're talking about uh, the minimum size for the competition is 80 centimeter all other pikes below that length is not uh, included in the competition and so far the biggest fish is uh, 107 centimeter and uh, there's still some guys out here fishing, so see if there's anything bigger coming up. Okay. We are looking forward to that. Yeah, we really are. Play the blues and swing them shoes. <laughs> After two days of tough fishing, it's time to decide the winner. In first place, Peter Skarka from Czechia caught 169 centimeters. In second place, Jakob Lexe from Sweden with 165 centimeters. And in third place, with only one fish, Roy Reedbeck with 107 centimeters. I'm Jan, I'm the team manager for Jackson Kayak Fishing Team in Europe. And this has been the Jackson Kayak Fishing Open, the first, first event that we did in Sweden. We had, I think we had 36 anglers, which was a surprise. A lot of people came from different countries. We had people from Germany, Finland, Sweden of course, Czech Republic, Austria as well so many different nations which was really cool to see and the fishing was tough we we set the limit to 80 centimeters which was the smallest pike that you could measure and register and i think there were only 10 of them caught during the competition 
which is which means tough fishing. We saw a whole bunch of people saw bigger fish, just followers. So for our first year, the fishing was not so great. The biggest fish was one meter seven centimeters, which is still a great fish from the kayak. And <laughs> it was a great event. We had a lot of fun. Gunnar did an awesome job preparing the the, the base here and the, the food was great and we met a lot of new people. I think that a lot of new friendships and new trips uh, are starting here. People talking to one another and figuring out what they want to do next year. So make sure you check out next year we'll probably be doing this again. I think for sure we'll be doing this. Carlos Corona is a great location. It's challenging as a competition. Uh, so I think see you next year. Do come, get your kayak, grab your paddle and come test your pike fishing skills against the whole of Europe. This weekend was awesome. I met some old friends, I got some new friends. And I will for sure be back next year to kick the ass of everybody who enters the competition. After 600 kilometers driving all night, I open my Facebook account at home and it's full of new friend requests. This is the way an event should be. When you're filming and interviewing people, it doesn't always go like I want. Uh, I'm standing here with Jan uh, from... Oh, shit. I'm standing here with Jan, who is uh, team manager... Man... I have a straw.